If you take a book like this, this has approximately 400 words on a page. Right. And so if you look at the screen of this television, on that, that's, you'd need three screens like this to be the same as one page. So that's quite small. The 32,000 characters in here is about 12 pages in this book. So when you start talking about books, that 32,000 seems relatively small. And that's obviously why you have to extend your storage capacity by using tapes or floppy disks, that kind of, that kind of system. Okay. Yes, the, the tape or the, this small floppy, that would handle about, at its maximum packing, its maximum amount it could store, would handle about a whole volume, uh, the characters in a whole volume. And this is about twice the diameter. About, yes, it's about yeah. double the amount of characters. That would hold about 1.2 million characters as a maximum. Right. And for really big storage jobs, I suppose you need those uh, really big hard disk memory banks is that right well this one isn't one of the biggest it's a it's a sort of medium sized machine and this disc will hold about 80 of those novels or the characters that's, out that's of not just of one novels. disc is it there are several now there are five discs here and the heads go in between to read the data which is stored right. magnetically on those discs and we can load it on the machine quite simply like this bang bang Oh, and there's the magnetic surface. It, in fact, it looks like magnetic tape, sort of laid out in the, fame, in the form of a flat gramophone record, it's, almost. Well, it's exactly the same principle, of course, um, but it's obviously much faster to access it, just like a gramophone record. You can pick an individual item of data out on it. Right. Mind your thumb. <laughs> and again, the bigger the machine, the bigger the storage capacity. Yes, this particular machine, although not a very big mainframe machine, it has, in fact, got a million bytes of storage, as opposed to the 32,000 that this little micro has. But the breakthrough is going to come with, I think, uh, this, which is the uh, video disc. And this will store the characters on this one disc that you'd need 3,000 books to store. And another way of putting it, for example, with cassette tape, it would require enough cassette tape to stretch from London to Chicago, and it would take four years to read that cassette tape. <laughs> the capacity to store the equivalent of 3,000 books is um, like the size of an encyclopedia. Well, you'd actually get the whole of the Encyclopedia Britannica on this disc. Well, let's just peep into the future for a moment, and uh, we've got a little programme lined up here, which could be the Encyclopedia of the Future. If I type in Space Shuttle... And there's your page of information. The book is open for you, and to make the page move so it can carry on reading it, all you have to do is press the space bar. What's more, this is something a video disc could do in the future. Not only do you have pages of written information, but if you typed in the word picture, and this is what you get, and make it move by doing that. But uses like that for the video disc are still a long way in the future.